So how much is this beautiful property, rustic home, overlooking the Salmon River? Stick with me, I'm gonna give you the sales price, and I'm also gonna do something else that most brokers don't do. I'm gonna show you all the positives, and I'm gonna show you the very few negatives on this property. So come along, we're gonna walk through there, and I bet you're gonna love this property. Of course, you can't have a home in this beautiful area without wraparound porches. And this house features that on three sides. And we're gonna walk straight into the living room right here, which is a gigantic room. And we have these big picture windows here so that you can look out over the Salmon River. If you're gonna own a home here, you're gonna to wanna to see that river every opportunity you get. So this home really does allow you to enjoy the outdoors. I'm gonna turn the corner right here. There is a formal dining area. The deer antler chandelier. You got the brick background there and even a built-in china hutch. Then we're gonna move right in here into the kitchen area. There are new appliances in here. They're stainless steel. Really is a beautiful kitchen, nice and big. Have the hot plate here, the oven over there. There is a pantry here and a little water closet. And then we're gonna move right over into the master bedroom real quick. Hall storage right here to my left. And then here's the master. It is nice and large. Um, I'll go ahead and point out one of the negatives. The carpet in here needs to be stretched and cleaned. Um, or you might even think about just flat replacing it. We have the master bathroom right in here. Have the really nice vanity. Walk-in shower. Really is a nice one. And then there is a big walk-in closet right over here. And of course, got that big window so you can see the Salmon River. And it has its own entrance out into the wraparound deck. All right, now let's walk down into the basement. I'm gonna show you that. So now we're down here in the basement and again I promise you to show you the negatives and right here is one of the negatives um, and it is pretty minor now but they had some settling issues in this back corner about three or four years ago. They fixed it right. They chipped up the concrete. They brought in some gravel. They compacted the heck out of it. They poured new concrete, laid the house back down. It's all level. It's all done very well. It's been quite a few years now, and so the problem has been solved, but my seller hasn't quite gotten around to finishing this room back off. As you can see, some of the tile is still um, on the ground, so if you wanted to continue on with that tile, if you wanted to do all new floor coverings in here, it's ready to go. So some drywall, some floors, all of a sudden this is a beautiful basement room again. We're gonna walk in here. This is the second bedroom in the house. Nice big bedroom. Um, got a queen size bed in here. You got plenty of room on both sides of it. Have this big, big dresser here. And then right in here actually has another walk-in closet. So you can walk in here and see there's plenty of area to hang your clothes and all that kind of stuff. So if you had uh, a mother-in-law situation or something like that could be very comfortable down here in the basement then we're gonna walk into the third bedroom of the house right here again this is a queen size bed and you can see there's plenty of room to walk around it so nice size bedroom another view of the Salmon River right here out of this room I can't tell you m enough of how much I love the Salmon River and the amount of time we spend out there. So it's uh, having a property that looks over the river like this would just be fantastic. But anyways, we got another closet here and then come on here. I'm going to show you the bathroom down here in the basement. Very good sized bathroom. You got a full tub, stand up shower. Pretty good sized vanity really for a spare bedroom or bathroom. 
So next item up we have is going to be the mechanical room and pantry. So you got your heater there. This house is on a heat pump. You have the hot water heater, the washer dryer, and then over here to the other side, we have lots and lots of shelving. Great for storage, uh, pantries and everything. But we're not done yet. Thanks for staying to the, towards the end of this video. Let's go up to the shop and see the living quarters and the shop area. Do so you have a price in mind yet? Well, don't quit calculating just yet. Here's the shop. You see, you got the two really big roll up doors and I'd like to invite you in here to check this out. I guarantee you're gonna love this shop. There's only one nicer that I've ever sold. Uh, it's currently on the market right now, but this is a nice, big, beautiful shop. We're gonna have all the measurements online. And by the way, if you if watching this on YouTube, you can scroll into the comments section. I have a whole 3D walkthrough that you can do on this and a floor plan will show you the exact measurements. But if my memory is correct, it is 40 foot by 50 foot. And then we have another uh, 16 feet here by 27 feet with another third roll-up door. Want you to know one of the roll-up doors is electric, the other two are hand pulls. Also, everyone's gonna wanna know power. It is single phase here, but there is 220. There's 200 amps of service here in the shop area. And so plenty of electricity to do whatever you're gonna need, but it's a big, beautiful shop. I think everyone's gonna love it. So let's go check out the living quarters that's attached to the shop now. All right, if you're anything like me, you might find yourself in the doghouse every once in a while, so come check it out. Attached here to the garage shop, this is a beautiful little living area. Um, would make an excellent rental if you'd like to have that little extra income. Really, really big living room here. Um, right here is the kitchen, which I think the kitchen is just set up very nicely. Um, really like these cabinets. Uh, beautiful wood grain rustic cabinets and nice kitchen setup. Right here is the first bedroom. Take a look at it. That is a queen size bed, so the room isn't huge, but plenty big, especially if you're using it as a guest suite. Right in here is our second bedroom. Both of them have closets. This one has multiple closets, so nice room here. Right across the hall, we're gonna show you the bathroom. It has a sink, toilet, shower. And then we're gonna squeeze right in here behind here, the mechanical room. You got the water softener, uh, shelving, places to hang clothes, and the washer and dryer hookup. So, like I said, you could easily use this as a rental, and otherwise it would make a beautiful mother-in-law quarters. So before you're done adding up this price, I gotta tell you everything. And I know what you're thinking, that's gotta be it. But just like the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, there's more to come. Right below here is the main house. Right there is the shop and living quarters I showed you. I'm sitting on the additional 39 acres that goes with this property that's all fence, this is where he keeps his horses. But I wanna show you right over there on that knob is another shop. That's right, there's two shops on this property. We're gonna go check it out right now. This is the last major feature I'm going to show you in the video because there's just too much to show everything. And so if you're interested in it, please give me a call. I'd love to bring you out here and show you. You can experience this in real life. But we've been talking about the price the entire video, and here we are. We're priced at $1 million. And there's something else you gotta know. We can split this property into some smaller pieces. And so if that's a little high for you, let me know. We can sell you the 40 acres with this shop and uh, you can build a house on it, or we can sell you the big shop and the house down there with some less acreage for a little better price. So give me a call if you're interested in this. But here we are, the last shop. Come on in here and check this out. This is not insulated, but we do have a concrete floor in here, two big roll-up doors. There is power that goes by the road here, but my seller didn't hook into it. He had some solar panels. 
he had some batteries, so he went ahead and put in a solar array uh, here. And so it turns on all the lights. He's got enough power, he can run a battery charger, an air compressor, and it's perfect place to store your toys like a jet boat, because if you're gonna live by the Salmon River, you better own a jet boat, or in my case, a river raft, because I can't afford a jet boat. And you got this big parking area right here. You can park trailers, motorhome, whatever you might have. So give me a call. I'd love to bring you up here and show you around. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to own a property like this. Don't miss out.